Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Now today's video, I am so excited to film. I have been requested to come out with this video ever since I told you guys that I am going to be going on an Accutane journey. A lot of you guys asked if I would document the entire thing, and that's exactly what I plan on doing. So if you not, if you not, if you have not <laughs> seen my first video on Accutane and why I decided to go on it, um, the video that I did with no makeup on where I was basically crying hysterical and zoomed up and showed you guys really how bad my acne is without makeup on to cover it and without lighting and editing and all the magic that I do to make my face look normal. Um, I'm going to post that video down below because that kind of show you, shows you guys my real before, what my skin looks like, um, my beginning basically, and all the reasons why I wanted to go on Accutane. So I'm going to post that video down below. So that was about one month ago. And now I am in one week, a little bit over one week of Accutane. I think it's like one week and two days. And basically what I'm going to be doing for this entire series is give you guys one month updates. But just to start it off, I wanted to give you guys a one week update because I have already been noticing a lot of things and I wanted to talk about the symptoms. Um, I actually have a note, a thing right here, uh, a notepad to let you guys know all the things that I don't want to forget. Um, First of all, I want to show you guys pictures. I'm going to show you right now what it looked like right before I started Accutane. I'm going to pop those pictures on the screen right now. And then I'm going to show you guys my skin as of now without all of this makeup on, what my skin looks like after one week of being on this medicine. So that should be on the screen right now. And then other than that, what I want to mention to you guys today is um, a little bit of the process of how I got Accutane, how I take it. Um, the differences that I have noticed in my skin and some of the symptoms that I started noticing right away. So there's a lot that I want to cover in this video. So if you're interested to hear all about the beginning of my Accutane journey, then just keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing that I want to talk about in this video is the process of getting on Accutane. I actually went to the dentist the other day and you have to like write down, I don't know why, but you have to write down the medications that you're on and I wrote down Accutane and the girl, the hygienist that was cleaning my teeth was like, oh my God, how did you get on Accutane? She told me and her skin was pretty bad. A little bit worse than mine and she said that her dermatologist would just not prescribe her Accutane and I gave her the name of my doctor I'm not working with him or anything I'm not even gonna put his name out there just yet because I don't know, it just might be a little bit weird because I'm always in that office and I don't want you guys to think this is sponsored or anything, but anyway, um, basically I just found a doctor that is pro Accutane. I got lucky, there are a lot of dermatologists that are against Accutane because it has a lot of symptoms and long-term side effects, which I'm gonna get into a little bit later, but um, I was just lucky that the dermatologist that I went to was pro Accutane and when I went in, I gave him a list of all the different medications that I have tried. Now the thing is, they, if you have not tried any medications before, any prescriptions from a dermatologist, they're gonna want to put you on anywhere from three to five different prescriptions just to make sure that your skin really is difficult and that Accutane is gonna be your last resort. It's not something that they like to prescribe you right off the bat. So, I went in and I told this dermatologist, and I'm not even gonna lie to you guys, I kind of elaborated and said that I tried a little bit more than I did. I think in reality I tried maybe three prescriptions from another dermatologist. I told him that I tried five and then I had a whole list of all the things that I tried from the drugstore. So anyway, he was like, all right, if all that stuff didn't work and your skin still looks like this, you're on birth control as well, I'll put you on the Accutane. So I was like, yes, I was so happy, but then my bubble kind of got bursted because this is how it works. If you're a guy, that I wasn't filming. If you're a guy and you go into the dermatologist and you get prescribed Accutane, you can walk out with your prescription that very same day. If you're a girl like me, it kind of sucks because you have to wait one full month before you can actually start. So if they approve you for the Accutane, basically what you have to do is get your blood drawn. You have to get your blood drawn if you're a guy too, uh, but you'll get the results the very next day. If you're a girl, they draw your blood to run all the tests to make sure that your triglycerides, your fat levels, fat lipid levels, I think it's called, are all correct, that nothing looks weird in um, the levels of whatever they test. And then also pregnancy, they test for pregnancy twice. So they do it right away that first day and then you have to wait a whole month and then come back and get tested again for pregnancy. So that's what I did. I went back a month later. I, exactly a month. I was like, all right, I want to come exactly one month from today because I just really wanted to get on the medication. So 
Fast forward, another month passed, I went in, I took my second pregnancy test, took the blood, they ran all the levels and everything, and they gave me my prescription finally. So I couldn't even go that day to the uh, pharmacy to get the prescription because they actually have to wait for everything to come back, which takes about two days. So then they gave me a call, they told me that I have to go do my online test. You have to do, um, it's not a course, but it's called the I Pledge system, where you have to go online and basically answer questions as to how you're preventing pregnancy and all the risks um, that are involved if you get pregnant while on this medication. They really, really enforce that. So they make you take an online quiz every single time that you have a prescription to fill. And once that gets approved, then you can finally go to the pharmacy and get your pills. So it is a long process. It was a pain in the butt. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I had a little bit of problems logging into the system on the computer. I was so frustrated. I'm like, oh my God, this medicine better work because it's like hell to try and actually get it in your hands. But I finally got it and this is what it looks like. Um, I will probably include a picture for you guys if you can't see this. It is called, actually, you know what? Let me just zoom you guys in. There we go. It is called Clavaris and I am actually on 60 milligrams a day. So each of these pills, you guys can see I already had this set and this set. Um, each of these pills, each of these pills are 30 milligrams, so I take two of them a day to equal 60 milligrams every single day. Now here's the thing, I told my doctor that I wanted to be as aggressive as possible with attacking this acne because most people will start out, will start out with only 40 milligrams a day. I kind of begged him <laughs> to put me on a really high level. I am 5'3 and I weigh 119 pounds and really I should be on only 30 milligrams a day or 40 milligrams a day, but I was able to talk him up to 60 milligrams a day because you know, I kind of told him how much the acne bothers me and that I just really want to be as aggressive as possible and that I'm willing to put up with these side effects. So anyway, these are what the pills look like. Um, they're on, here, I should have showed you guys right here. They are these little red pills. And I wanted to also tell you guys how I take them because I did a little bit of research and I did read that they work better and they are more easily absorbed into your bloodstream if you take them with 20 grams of fat. So I take them every single morning. I asked my doctor if I should take one pill in the morning, one pill at night, or if I could take them both at the same time. He said it really doesn't matter as long as you get them in your system. He just said, if you take them both at the same time, take them with food. So I don't wanna have an upset stomach, so I definitely take it with food. And also because I read online that 20 grams of fat right before you take the pills will really help them work even better. So I have been putting in that 20 grams of fat in my body because I really wanna make sure that the pill are really absorbed and doing their job. So I was given 60 pills and I have to go in every single month to get my next 60 pills and every single time that I go in it's the same process. I have to have the blood test, the pregnancy test, do the online test and then wait one or two days for the results to come in and then I can finally go and get my prescription. So every single month that's something that you have to be able to commit to doing. So now that we got all of that out of the way, I wanna to talk to you guys about what I have been experiencing after one week of being on Accutane. And first I wanna talk about the skin because I know that's what you guys really wanna hear about. I was so afraid of the purging period because I just saw a lot of horror stories and almost every single person that I asked that went on this pill told me it works, it's amazing, stick with it. However, the first four weeks are going to be hell because your skin is going to more than double in acne. It's gonna triple in acne and it's gonna be really, really dry and difficult, but just stick through it. So I've had so many reviews online and asked so many people that I know personally that actually took this pill. And um, I was so afraid. I was so afraid that, you know, I prepared my boyfriend. I'm like, I'm gonna be like locked in the house. I don't wanna see anyone. It's gonna be really, really bad. And I was so emotional about it to start with that I just could not picture it getting even worse and what it was gonna make me feel like and how I was gonna film. But honestly, you guys, and let, I hope that I'm not jinxing myself. I have not really experienced that huge purging period. I actually feel like my skin is already clearing. Now, with that being said, I have experienced a little bit of breakouts um, in areas that I normally don't have them, but they're not big cystic um, acne, like they're little whiteheads. And before, I was dealing with more cystic acne and that has already been reduced. So I'm happy that I have less of those big, juicy, pimples that hurt and I have a little bit more of the whiteheads in areas that I normally don't but it's already an improvement so I'm really happy about that. Also I was told that 
uh, and it's true that the body acne is going to clear up first and I'm so happy because believe it or not guys I don't know why I feel like the body acne was almost bothering me more than the acne on my face um, the chest acne was really really bad to start I believe that I have a picture of the back acne which I will include right now I didn't take an after picture because it's a little bit difficult I don't have anyone to take it for me home right now so um, in the next update I'll show you guys like a body acne update but already I, I definitely noticed a huge decrease in the body acne I would say uh, more than 50% of the body acne has disappeared and I do have a little bit of the scarring left behind but that's something that I can deal with later as long as the big cystic pimples are not popping up anymore then I'm very very happy so overall not too bad I'm rolling with it I see already a little bit of an improvement it's definitely not getting worse so I'm happy and I definitely have hope and I feel like if I already have this much of a difference within like eight nine days I can just imagine what my skin is going to be like after. Um, my doctor predicts that I will be on this pill for about six months. So that is a, a really long road. And um, I wanted to really quickly talk about some of the negative side effects that I have been experiencing. But with that being said, they are doable, okay? It's tough, but it's doable. And since I already noticed a difference, I know that I'm gonna stick with this pill. Rocco, what are you doing? Sorry, my puppy wants to come up. So basically, the first thing that I noticed right away is the dry skin on my lips. Now, I have big lips, obviously, and my skin or my lips are already very dry and always chapped. Um, so I was like, whatever, dry lips, like, I already deal with that, so I will continue to put up with that. No, this is completely different. A lot of people were complaining about this on different reviews that I've watched and I'm like, what's the big deal? But it's completely different. I noticed within the second day my lips got very like tingly. I felt a tingly feeling in my lips and then the next day they started burning and then by the next day they were completely inflamed. Um, it's a dryness but it's also a tingling burning sensation and then the side, the corners of my lips are completely ripped. So if I go to like bite into an apple or eat something like a hamburger where I have to open my mouth, it hurts so bad because both sides of my mouth are like split and it hurts really, really bad. What I have been using to help that out is the acne.org jojoba oil. It works better than anything else that I've tried. I also have been using Aquaphor. A lot of you guys recommended that to me, but it doesn't seem to make as much of a difference to me as the jojoba oil does, so I just put this directly on my lips. The only other place that I've experienced dryness is around the sides of my nose, which is not that bad. I thought that the dryness and flaking was going to be really, really bad, but I drink a lot of water, so I feel like that really helps me deal with that symptom. Um, and I think that's from the medicine as well. Like I get very, very thirsty. So I drink a lot of water. I normally would drink like maybe three or four glasses a day. And now I drink six to seven glasses. So I'm always, always thirsty. Some of the other negative side effects are headaches and slight muscle pain um, in my lower back and in my shoulders and neck. I definitely feel them a little bit more sore at the end of the day. Nothing crazy, but enough for me to actually notice the difference. And and um, as far as the headaches, I have been getting headaches again maybe every other day. Um, it is annoying at, at the end of the day, but again, it's just something that I'm going to put up with. It's not like they're migraines, but I definitely think that it is because of the medication. And last but not least, another round of symptoms that I have been experiencing, and this is probably the most negative and difficult for me to put up with, is the anxiety, the crying spells, the irritability, and the sensitivity. I feel like I have turned into a legit psycho since starting this medicine. Like, I will cry about anything and everything. I'm extremely sensitive. Um, I'm not going to say that I'm depressed, but I have dealt with anxiety in the past and I feel it so bad right now. Like, I will just sit and think about my future and panic and just let my want, my mind wander and go and go and go and go and just anxiety, just extreme anxiety about many different things, uh, my career, my family, everything. Every, like I will just have extreme anxiety and that's something that I have not dealt with for a pretty long time. So to have those feelings come back, it sucks. It really, it says on the package right here, I forgot where, I think it was actually on the little um, bag that this came in from the, um, 
what is it called from the pharmacy it did say medicine may cause extreme changes in mood including sadness and depression like right there in the front and um, I think I do have a little bit of that it's it's not the worst but it is definitely something that's annoying to put up with I try to just snap myself out of it and I just think that I am someone that is very sensitive to medication the same thing happened when I started my Yaz birth control because you do have to agree to be on two types of birth control um, and the ones that I agreed to like you actually have to sign a contract is um, condoms and birth control pills I was already on the birth control pills which is Yaz and I decided to go on Yaz and I know when I told you guys this everyone freaked out saying that Yaz is the most dangerous birth control pill but I did decide to go on that one because it is one of the only I believe there's only three three birth control pills that are approved um, to help with acne so the FDA approved it I'm like alright I want to go on that one because I have acne but in the beginning it was so difficult for the first month like extreme that was extreme depression and like anger and it's crazy how pills can affect like your mood and your personality but again I got used to my birth control pills and I'm back to normal now so I'm hoping that after about a month of being on these that the psychoness will kind of die down and um, it's something that I'm actually not going to tell my doctor about just a little tip for you guys because if they do think that you're having extreme depression or suicidal thoughts which I'm not but if they get the wrong impression that the pill is affecting you in too much of a negative way then they will take you off of the medication so just you know keep that in mind. Alright guys, I talked for an extremely long time but there was a lot that I wanted to cover in this video so again I will be coming out with monthly updates I probably will be doing a one month update even though I did this you know one week and a half update I will show you guys exactly what my skin looks like in one month from now and then for all the five months after that it's a very long process but this pill is supposed to affect your skin and your oil glands even after you're done with it basically what it does is it shrinks your oil glands down by 80% so they, that you don't produce that oil all over your face, your body, your scalp and it's supposed to be a permanent change so that is why you stay on the pill for that long because it's supposed to be good for years and years to come so um, some people have to do a second round of this medication most people do not but um, I am very very hopeful because I have already been seeing changes and it's only a week and a half so I'm really hopeful, I'm really excited, and thank you guys so much for joining me in this journey. Um, all the information will be down below. I think I'm going to put all these videos in a playlist. So check down below for the previous Accutane video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Mwah. Bye.